Hello. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, before I put this together, I want to show you every piece of this up close. So today's video is for the person who's really interested in these spit jacks. Maybe they haven't ever handled one before and they want to get familiar with what it's all about. So uh, I want to show you, before I finish up with this, I want to show you in detail everything. Let you, let you just each piece. I'm going to turn it, put it in front of the camera and turn them real slow and nicely and you can see in detail every piece of, of this spit jack. For the person who really wants to study this and see what it's all about, maybe uh, someday you're going to restore one or maybe you're going to make one, attempt to make one. So here we go. But first I want to start with this drum here. I want to show you how they pin this drum together. Uh, one of the things I'm going to, I'll, I'll point out anything that I think you ought to see. I cleaned it up a little bit right here. I wanted you to see. So they made a drum and you have this flat plate. And to attach the two of them together, do you see there's little, little rivets here? And they're all around here. There's probably, I think there's three of them. Two. Yeah. Must be a third one here. There's a third one right there. Maybe there's four. That was four. So there's four of these around here. I hope that's okay for you. And they attach the two together. And the same thing is done on this side. Now what they do is they go into... I, I looked inside here with a light and they're, they're just going on to a rod that goes at an angle and attaches to this. Okay, and then they just peen them down, hook them on there. Also, real, real quickly, let's look at the, the gear here, or the, the ratchet. And you can see there's the rivets that pin the two pieces together. So I started to put the rope on here. Let's go to some other parts, and I'll finish this later. <clears throat> Well, let's start with the front. <clears throat> Here's the front. It's cast brass. Someone asked about that. Here's the back. These two pieces here are made separate and then attached. You can see, like I said, this is a turning, turned on a lathe, and this is turned on a lathe, and then they, they have a, a post goes through, because this the hole was drilled in here, and then it was fitted in. And this is the spot where the, 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 the main pulley and the gear is here, and then this is the second gear. And so they needed a, a thicker area than just the thickness of this as a bearing. So that's why they added this, and the decoration is beautiful. But they're turned separate, and they're set into here, pressed in, or, but see there's a little bit of peening to hold them in place. And then this one here is on. So that's the front. Here's one of those tabs. You see the two steel pins. Here is the back plate. It's identical to the front plate in thickness and in, and in style. And here, here we get a, the witness mark that it was cast. See that right there? That, that tells us that it was cast and not cut out of, say, a, a plate of, of brass. <coughs> And then it has these two, these spacer bars, beautifully turned. You can see how they're nicely turned. Really nice. Notice how they're going to thread on here for the front plate to come on. But on the back, that pin goes through and they are just peened, peened in place. And then I showed you how they tightened up the holes a little bit. And here's the bottom one is peened in place. I hope all this is coming through on the camera. 
Let's real quickly, let's take a look. Here's that, this is the flyer shaft, right? The, it's the worm gear that runs up to the flyer. And the flyer acts as a governor. It takes all that energy from the weight pulling down, otherwise it would run flat out and it wouldn't be controllable. So this, this because of the inertia of the, of the flyer, it governs it and, and adjusts the energy being used to a, a smooth rate. Here's the flyer itself. You see it has these brass finials. Oops. And a turn center. A square tapered shaft, uh, hole, and that takes this tapered shaft. Oh, let me hold it upright so it goes in the direction it's supposed to. So you see this tapered shaft it fits right down on here, just like that. Here is the crank handle for winding it up. Beautifully turned brass piece with the uh, tapered square hole in it. And a nice turned wooden handle. It's peened on this end and I think it's threaded in there. I don't, it may best be peened. Uh, well look at it, it moves a little bit so it's just peened in there too. Here is the the large main drive shaft. Well the shaft that the drum and the hand crank and, and, and the pulley on the back will go to. This, this is the shaft that does that. See the drum, that's, this actually slides into here and there's a socket in that, in this shaft here that that fits into. And this goes through just like that and into the socket. And then you just have to pull that back. The, this is the ratchet for, the, for going up and down. There's a beautiful brass spring, this metal piece. Now that's actually threaded in. It's spun it around and I threaded it in. There's the back of, of it there. Okay. And you got to hold that back and then when you put that in together. Now, I want to show you something really important on this gear. Right here. I hope we can see this. Every spit jack I've worked on has had a repair job done on the gears where some gears apparently were broken at one time or another. And this is no exception. And you can see right here, they slotted and put in a new tooth to the gear. Slotted, put in a new tooth. Slotted, put in a new tooth. And then they soldered them in place. There's three new teeth in there. Those are handmade, and see how different they are from the others. I hope we can see on this side. This is where I spotted it first, because it was really nice and bright. The, the addition of the three teeth, and they're soldered in place. And this is the secondary gear that this goes over to. See how there's a pitch to those teeth? And they match the pitch in this worm gear. And this runs the governor. That holds all everything back. So there's an angled pitch there to match the worm gear. And other than that, then it goes back here to the, this end goes to, this mounts just about, just like this. And it goes like that, okay? And that's all of our pieces, I think. The, the up close look at all the pieces.